edge of trouble. Yet, yeah, you seem to embrace it. I've never seen trouble such like you before, Prince. It makes me sad when you must depart. You take this job too well. He's a traitor. But it's true, all the ladies love me. Except you. And I could and if I could love them, I would, if I didn't have a hard heart. But I tell you, I love no one. That brings joy to all women. Thank God in my cold blood, by the way. I'd rather hear a dog bark as a crow than hear a man say I love you. May God keep that your brain child so other men can escape a scratched face in the future. If a face is as ugly as yours, scratching would make it better. Well, oh, listen to you teaching me like a parrot. Well, I'd rather be squawking as a parrot than an uncultured swine like you. Only my horse had as much speed and stamina as your mouth. But that's it. I'm not here. I should have seen this coming, just like before you duck out of conversation. Hey, Finella, what was it you were telling me about? Beatrice being Kathy Wacky for Benedict? I never would have thought that Beatrice would have the capacity to fall in love with anyone. Neither did I, but it's excellent that she loves him even though I thought she hated him. She can this be true? Dear sir, I cannot tell you what it's like, but she loves him with all her heart. Maybe she's faking. If she is, she's doing a good job. There is no faking as much as she has for him. How does she show her love? Keep talking. He's believing us. Sir, well, you heard my daughter tell you. Yes, she did. I thought her soul was incapable of love. So would I, especially against Benedict. I don't see that this is a lie, but the fucky daddy says it. Such a powerful man would never lie. Keep going, he believes it. Has she told Benedict? No, and she says she never will. That's her torment. It is. She said, should I, the woman who has scorned him so much, Write him that I love him. That's what she says when she starts writing. Heroes told me she writes 20 times a night, trying to make the perfect letter. Now that you mentioned, I remember something Hero about this letter. The one where she found Beatrice and Benedict written all over it? That one. She tore the letter into a thousand little pieces, beat herself for writing someone who would ignore her. She cries, though I love him, I should ignore him. Then she kneels and cried out. She wrecked herself and cursed, God, give me patience. Hera says that she does, and the emotions get to her so much that my daughter's afraid that she will kill herself. It would be a good thing if Benedict found out some other way. How much? He'd just make a joke out of it, and she would leave, feeling worse. She's a sweet lady, and above else, she is virtuous. She's very wise and everything except loving Benedict. Wisdom and blood and war, but blood has won. I feel bad for her, being her aunt and guardian. If only she liked me, I would have made her my other half. Tell Benedict and hear what he'll say. Are you sure that's a good idea? Hero thinks Beatrice will die. She'll die if he doesn't love her. She'll die before she'll tell him. She'll die if he woos her, rather than let go of a sarcastic way. She means well. If she tells him, he'll scorn it. For as all we know, he has a distempered spirit. He's a good man. He shows a good outward happiness. Yes, and very wise. Sometimes he shows something that seems like intelligence. He's also heroic. Fight, he is wise. He avoids them like the plague. Or he goes through them with great caution. If he fears God, he must keep peace. If he breaks the peace, he should get into a beef like a chicken. And he will, because he does fear God, no matter how many jokes he makes. I'm sorry for Beatrice. We will find Benedict and tell him. No, sir. Let her tell him himself, if she dares. 
she'll wear her heart out first. We'll hear more from Hero. I like Benedict, but I wish he took a good long look at himself to see how unworthy he is of her. Dear sir, will you walk with me? Dinner is ready. If he doesn't like her after this, my name's not Claudio. Let's do the same thing for her. Hero and Ursula will do so. Once they both think they love each other, I'd love to see that. Let's have her bring him in for dinner. This can't be a lie. It all comes from a hero. They seem to pity Beatrice. It seems her love is fallen towards me. Why, well, I, I must requite it. They said I'll make fun of her if she tells me, which she won't, because they say she'd rather die. But to think I thought I would never marry. I can't be proud. People are happy when they can face their own faults. I'm sure some clips and comments will come my way, but because I've always harped against marriage, but can't I change my mind? I mean, men love steak when they're young, but when they grow old, they can't even eat it at all. These woody comments deter me. No. The world must be... people. When I said I'd die a bachelor, I didn't think I'd ever live to be married. Here she comes, the fair damsel. I think I see some more so love again. Unfortunately for me, I've been sent to bring you to dinner. Fair Beatrice, I thank you for your pains. I have no more pain than for that thanks than it took you to thank me. If it were painful, I wouldn't have come. You take pleasure then in the message? Uh, yes, just as much as you may take a knife and cut yourself. You have no guts, sir. Farewell. Tuh. Unfortunately for me, I've been sent to bring you in to dinner. Double meaning in that. I had no more pain for that thanks than you took to thank me. That's like saying, any pain I take for you is as easy as thanks. If I don't take pity on her, I'm a villain. If I don't love her, I'm a Nazi. I'll go get her picture. Ursula, when Beatrice arrives, we must only talk about Benedict. When I mention him, give him more praise than he's ever deserved. I'll see how Benedict is sick in love with Beatrice. This is how we'll trick her and we'll win. The best angle is for us to talk about Beatrice, who even now is behind the fireplace. Don't worry about my words. No, Ursula, she's too disdainful. Her spirit is clever and wild as a hawk. But are you sure Benedict is that doll dizzy for her? That's what the prince and Claudio say. Did they tell you to tell her? Yes, but I told them if they loved Benedict, they should let him pick his battles and never tell Beatrice. Why, doesn't he deserve the same as Beatrice? I know he deserves as much as any man, but her heart's stronger than anyone else's. Disdain and scorn put a sparkle in her eyes. To her, nothing is more important than wit. She can't love or even pretend. She's so self-occupied. And certainly it wouldn't be good if she knew his, of his love, otherwise she'll joke about it. Very true. She would take all his good qualities and make them false. No matter what, he could never win. She does this with every man and never sees truly what nature has given them. Such an insulting is not commendable. No, not to be so distant as Beatrice is. It cannot be commendable. But who dare tell her? She would mock me and laugh at me if I told her. Let Benedict fade away inside. It's a better way to die than by mockery, which is as bad as death by tickling. Let's tell her and hear what she says. No, I'll go to Benedict and tell him to fight his passion. I'll make up some bum raps about my cousin. You don't know how much a slander can stain love. Do not wrong her like that. It would be a goof for her so having such excellent wit as she says to refuse Benedict. He's the greatest man in Italy, save for my dear Claudio. Don't be angry with me, lady, but Benedict, for shame, demeanor, and honor, force first and foremost throughout Italy. He has an excellent reputation. He earned it before he had it. When are you getting hitched, ma'am? Every day. Tomorrow. Let's go and I'll show you some dresses. I want you to pick out which one I'll wear tomorrow. We've got our hooked hero. If it is, then love goes by chance. Some Cupid gets with arrows, other trap. What's this can be? Why am I condemned for pride and scorn?
you're here today to marry this lady? No. <laughs> to be married to her? Father, you come to marry her? Lady, you are here to be married to this man? I do. If either of you have any reason why these people should not be wed, let them speak now or forever hold your peace. Do you have any, hero? None, my lord. My lord, do you have any? <laughs> you better say none. Oh, what men always do when not knowing what they've done. What's this? Interjections? Then let's laugh. <laughs> Hold on a moment, Friar. Leonardo, will you, with free and honored soul, give me your daughter? As freely as God gave her to me. What shall I give back to you? Whose worth is as much as hers? Nothing, unless you marry her again. Prince, you teach me thankfulness. So, Leonardo, take her back. Don't give such a share crop to your friend. She only looks like a virgin. Oh, the truth can sin cover it with itself. All you hear, would you swear that she looks like a maiden? But she's not. The blush is guilt, not modesty. What do you mean by this? I mean not to be married to such a whore. My lord, if you've slept with her and taken her virginity... I know what you'll say. If I had sex with her, she took me as her husband to conjoin the marriage prematurely. I never did such a thing. I only loved her like her brother to his sister. And I didn't do the same? I'll write against it. You see me as a chase, as a chase can be. But you're more lustful than a Venus or any one beast. Are you sick, Claudia, that you say these things? Prince, what do you have to say? What is there to say? I'm dishonored that I brought my friend together with such a common sharecrop. These things spoken are in my dreaming. Ma'am, they are spoken and they are true. This doesn't look like a marriage. Wait, true? What? Oh, God! Leonardo, tell me. Is it really me who's standing here? Is it really hero's face? Our eyes, our own? This is all true, but what of it, good sir? Let me ask you one more question. As her father, order her to answer me. Do so, hero, as you are my daughter. God, defend me. Stop ganging up on me. What do you want? To make you answer to your own name. Isn't it Hero? Who can make it seem as if I've done wrong? Only you can. Hero herself can blot out Hero's virtue. Who was the man that talked with you last night outside your window between midnight and one? Answer me if you are a maid. I spoke with no one at that time. And you want to be? Anna, I am sorry, but Claudio, myself, and my sister saw and heard her at that hour last night. She talked with a creep at her window who has confessed at what they've done. A thousand times in secret. But brother, they are to not be named. We shouldn't talk about them. No words can describe them. I'm sorry, lady, for your misjudgment. Oh, hero, how wonderful it would have been if half your concern had been placed on your true thoughts. Farewell, most fall, most fair. Because of you, I'll lock up all the gates of love. And on my eyelids shall this thought hang to turn beauty into harm. Would never have been more gracious. Doesn't I don't have a beef with me? Who are you making? Let's go. These things have been revealed and will smother her spirit. Do you think I loved and praised my daughter so much that I was not valuing her like she should have been? She has fallen into a stained pond and can never be washed clean. Now with all the water in the ocean, and no amount of salt could preserve her foul-tainted flesh. Hi ho, everyone. Hi ho, Prince. Hi ho, Claudia. Will you still be married to my brother's daughter? Of course I will, even if she's black. Here's the fire now. for that. Here comes the others. Which one am I going to marry? This one. And I give her to you. She will be my wife. Baby, let me see your face. Not until you take her hand before this father and promise to be married. Let me marry you before the father. slandered, but I am alive, and as I live, I am a maid. The old hero, the dead hero. She died, Prince, but while she was still stained. All this I can attest to. Once these rites are finished, I'll tell you Hero's death. In the meantime, let's start the ceremony. Wait a minute, Friar. You took the Ask me, what do you want? Do you love me? No, no more than reason. 
And your uncle, Prince, and Claudio have been lied to. They swear you did. And do you love me? No, no more than reason. And Hero Morgan and Ursula have been lied to because they swore you did. They said you were lovesick for me. They said you were almost dead for me. That's nothing. So you don't love me then? No.